In this video, we're going to take a look at basic logical operators in ARM. So these are operators such as AND, OR, exclusive OR, and negation that are used to complete bitwise operations on registers. And we're going to take a look at how these operators work. And in addition to that, I'll show you a few basic things that we can do with these operators, aside from the typical ideas of, you know, comparing if two inputs are the same or not, or those sorts of ideas. So starting off with the instructions, the AND OR, exclusive OR, they all work very similarly to the arithmetic operators that we saw in the previous video. And by that I mean, so for instance, if we were going to do an AND, we would have the destination for the results and then two things that are being ANDed together. So that's the way that our AND operator will typically work. So for example, if I were to do like a simple, um, let's move, uh, and let's move into R0, the value FF. Um, let's move into R1, the value, um, I don't know, 22, for instance. And let's AND those two together and store the result inside of R2. When we compile and load this, you'll see that what we get is we get the two Fs here. And this one, we get 16. And then the result of ANDing those together is 16. Of course, because all of the inputs in the first one are all ones, so wherever the ones match up, we get one. Wherever the zeros match up, we get zero. And that gives us the exact same result back. So you can see that that works the same way that we would expect any typical logical AND to work. So this would be the idea of our AND. Now we can also do an AND that sets flags using AND S. So I just always want to note that with these instructions, typically there's always a complementary version that will set flags as well. Most commonly, you're going to see just AND being used, since we don't usually have flags getting set with the AND operation. It's mostly just a matter of um, completing the logical operation and storing the result. So that gives us our AND instruction. Our OR instruction is similar. It's ORR for OR. So just keep in mind, it's not OR. It's OR with two R's. So again, just to demonstrate how this works, you can see there are two inputs are FF and 16. And if we OR those together, we get FF. Because, of course, anywhere that there's a 1, we end up with a 1. And since f and f is all 1s, we always end up with 1s, which gives us the ff as our results. So that gives us our OR operation. And then finally, our exclusive OR is EOR. So this is exclusive OR. So just to show how this works, we have the ff, the 16. When we do those together, we get E9. Remember that an exclusive OR is going to only give us a 1 if one of the inputs is a 1, not both of them, right? If both of them are the same, we get a 0. Otherwise, we get a 1, and that's our exclusive OR. So you see that when we do this, we get exactly that result as expected. So those are the very basic logical operations. They're very simple and straightforward. There's nothing particularly special or interesting about them. Um, the one that's a little bit different actually is negation. And that's one that I want to talk about now. So with negation, we do something slightly different than just doing like a not on the actual register itself. You might expect that we might have like a not operation that does that negation, but that's not the case in um, an ARM. What we have instead is we have a special instruction called move negative, MVN, like this. What move negative does is it moves from the source the negation of the source into the destination. So it negates the source and then puts that result into the destination. So it does a move and a negation at the same time. So to demonstrate that, let's just do this with R0 and itself. What this will do is it will move R0, it will negate it, and put it back in the register that we started with. When we do this, you see that we start off with all Fs, and when we negate it, we get zeros in the first two bits and Fs in all of the later bits. Now, this might seem maybe a little bit strange, but remember, when we do a negation, it negates the whole register not just like the single bits or anything like that. It does it to the whole register. Now, when we have something like this happen, we might want to make it so that the other registers are set back to zero. And the question is, how would we do something like that? And well, actually, we can use our AND operator to do something like that, right? What we could do is we could do an AND, storing the result in R0, taking R0 and ANDing it with something that we know is going to give us zeros for those first six bits, or those first six hex values, right? 
which would be 0x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the others would be ff to keep whatever is inside of them. This will clear all of these bits because anding 0 with anything gives us 0, and since these are always 1, if we add anything with them, we'll get back what we started with, right? Either a 0 or a 1, depending on what the value actually is. And now the result of this is we start with the ff, we negate it, and then you can see when we do the and, it clears all the other bits, giving us this result back. And you know, this might become a little bit more clearer if I use like, um, let's do AA for instance. When I do AA for an example, you see that we get 5,5 five here rather than zeros. You see that when we clear it, we keep the 5,5 five and get rid of everything else. That's something that we can use and to be able to do is clear specific bits in a register. So that's one of the applications of and. So this gives you a very basic overview of the different types of logical operators that exist in ARM. This is of course very high level and just like very simple examples, right? I just wanna give you an idea of the instructions, an idea of what they might be useful for. And then from there, we can continue to build on top of those concepts. So this gives you the very fundamentals of the logical operations. And then in future videos, we'll see how they might be used in more practical sorts of applications.